Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryda Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody. Before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Weez GNZ Gaming, and even Moldy Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform, and I really do appreciate for their support. So why don't you go inside my description below? and go and check them out and we're going to get straight into the video now this video is all about on how to install the business mega pack version 3.0.5 inside your grand theft auto re folder so make sure that you do download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below once you have completed that process then download this mod and I will leave this mod inside my description below. This mod does have requirements, so make sure that you do download Enable All Interiors as well. Next, download Lemon UI, and I will leave this inside my description below as well. So make sure that you do download all the requirements. So let's get started. Once you have completed that, Go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. Next, make sure that you do go to your skithookv.net.ini file and make sure that you change your reload key to insert. Make sure that you do save it, and then now you're done. Make sure that you do have a scripts folder. Make sure that you do spell scripts correct and make sure it is all lowercase. Open up your scripts folder. As you can see, my scripts folder is completely empty. So let's get started. Open up your lemon UI extract folder. Inside that folder, make sure that you do open up your shvd in 2 folder select all the files and drag it inside your scripts folder next go back to your extract folder go back to your main folder and now open up your shvd in 3 folder then select all the files inside that folder and drag it inside your scripts folder. Go back to your extract folder and exit out of that extract folder. Next, open up your enable all interiors, also known as EAI extract folder. And now there will be another folder. Open up that folder and there will be a scripts folder. Open up that folder. Now next, all you got to do is select all of the files and now drag it inside your scripts folder. Go back to your extract folder and exit out of that extract folder. Now with this file over here, you can just delete it if you want to, but I'm just going to leave it there. Next, open up your Business Mega Pack Extract Folder, also known as TBMP Extract Folder, and now you will see a folder inside there. Open up this folder, and now you will see a Scots folder. Open up this folder. Now, next, all you got to do is just select all the files, and then I'll go up. Make sure that you do not select this one over here. Press that and then now that will go away. 
Now select all of the files and folders and now drag it inside your sketch folder. Wait for a few seconds and now you'll get this and just replace your files. Then that's all you gotta do. Go back to your extract folder and exit out of your extract folder. Now next, go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. Right click, refresh your game folder. Exit out of your game folder. Right click, refresh your desktop. And then now I'll see you guys in the game. But before I do go in the game, if you do have modded vehicles, okay, inside your folder, then I highly recommend installing game config. So make sure that you do install game config. So let's get started. I'll see you guys in the game. And now we are back in the game. So as you can see on my left hand side, all of the mods is, is loading. Now when you go in the game, your game will freeze for only a few seconds. As you can see, with my game, it is frozen. So, if your game does freeze when you go in the game, then it does work. Now, before we do get straight into it, we have to open up our phone. So go to your phone, go to contacts, then go right down to the bottom. And now you'll see enable interiors and business helper. Now go to enable interiors, then go to change and interior. Now you can choose whatever interior you want, okay, whatever business you want. But the business that I'm going to choose and pick is the contract. So make sure that whatever business that you're choosing, make sure it is true. As you can see, my one is all true, so that's good. Now next, go to Misc Options. Now I highly recommend, okay, making Load MP Maps true and Enable Blips true. Now make sure that these two are true, it is well recommend. And now, this is what I always do. I always make random color blips true. Now this is optional. You don't have to do it, but it's totally up to you. But if you want to, then you'll put color onto your map. So that's pretty much it. So go back to your main and now go back down and now you'll see refresh interior. So go to refresh interior now there you go and now exit out of your enable all interiors now open up your phone again then go to contacts then go right down to the bottom and now go to business helper next go to purchase a business now you can purchase whatever business you want but like what I said before, I'm choosing the contract business. So the contract business is right down the bottom. So I'm going to choose this business. And the business that I'm going to choose is Hawks. Now there you go. Now, as you guys can see, when you open up your map again, you'll see a lot of things in here, okay? Now, Hawks is basically around here somewhere so I'm gonna go over there and I'll see you guys at the business and now we are here so as you guys can see it is working and I did enable my interiors so go to the yellow or blue dot over here that you can see and now press E on your keyboard and now you'll enter the business so as you guys can see it is working everything is working um, you can go over here but I'm not gonna go through this whole um, um, business okay because you guys know how to work this okay so as you can see everything looks pretty cool okay now go upstairs everything is working I have already tested this mod let me just only go over here and have a seat 
so you guys can see that it does work. Watch this. A radio. There you go. And now, uh, organize options and etc. The garage. But you name it, okay? So, the mod does work and i hope you guys do enjoy it and now we are back again so i hope you guys do enjoy the mod but i'm very very sorry i would do some missions okay and show you but i can't because it will make the video really long and boring so um and so that's why i don't really like to make long videos but anyway so i hope you guys do uh, enjoy that but like always if you guys do get stuck installing this mod then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that or if you do get stuck installing any other mods then please let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that I do have a discord server so if you need help or support then join my discord server and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that and like always if you guys did enjoy this video and if this video was helpful then smash that like button and subscribe for more gaming content and tutorials and i'll see you all on my next video thank you for watching peace and i'm out